Okay, so Birchy has 50p. Okay, and he's buying a pumpkin suit which costs 16p, so he's going to need some change. Okay, so to work out the change, we're going to count on from 16p, the cost of the book, to 50p, which is the amount of money he's got to work out the change. Now today, we're going to jump to the next 10. So let's remind ourselves what the tens numbers are. All of these numbers are multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so I'm going to start with my number line. 16 goes here because that's the cost of our book. Now I'm going to count in ones to the next 10. Now if I look at my list, the next 10 is going to be 20, okay? So I'm going to jump in ones to 20. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to label that and each of those jumps is a jump of one. So it's a jump of four to get to 20. And now I can count in tens because I'm counting from 20 to 50. So I'm going to do one jump of 10. 20, 30. 30 out of 10 is 40. 40 out of 10 is 50. And I hope you're all shouting stop there because I'm stopping because I've got 50p. And then this is my change. So I need to count it up. I'm going to count the tens first. 10, 20, 30. And I'm going to count on in ones. 31, 32, 33, 34. So Birchie will receive 34 pence change. What coins could he get if he got 34 pence change? Well, he could have a 20 and a 10. That makes the 30. And then he could have two, two Ps. That would make the four, okay? So that's how we find change by jumping on in ones, then tens.